Hey, I'm Adam Jessica from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we are going to talk about how American Express cards work, more specifically, how American Express's rewards programs work, and which American Express cards fall under each type of rewards program. Now, for some people, this is going to be Credit Card Rewards 101, but for people that haven't dealt with American Express before, you might assume that they're sort of one platform that all the rewards are sort of on and that they can interchange between cards and all of that sort of thing, and that's not necessarily the case. So we are going to look at the different ways that you can earn rewards on different American Express cards and talk about what's interchangeable and what's not. So American Express offers quite a few credit cards, both on the personal card side and the small business card side, and most of these cards are going to offer rewards. And these cards are going to fall into one of three buckets when it comes to those rewards. Number one, the cards that are membership rewards points cards. Number two are the cash back cards, or what American Express calls reward dollars. And then number three are the co-brand cards where you're going to direct be earning either miles or points from a travel partner of American Express's. So let's start with membership rewards. American Express is probably best known for its membership rewards program. The cards that are going to offer you points in that membership rewards program are the American Express Platinum Card, the American Express Gold Card, the American Express Green Card, you're going to have the Amex Every Day and the Amex Every Day Preferred. So those are the cards on the personal card or consumer side. And then on the small business side, you are going to have the business version of the Platinum Card, the business Gold Card, the business Green Card, and then you're also going to have the Blue Business Plus Card. And if you hold more than one of the cards that I just mentioned, the membership rewards points that you earn from those cards will be combined into one membership rewards account. Now you can redeem the points that you earn in the membership rewards program many different ways, but some redemptions are going to make a lot more sense than others when you look at the value that you get for the points that you have earned. You can redeem for cash back with the membership rewards points, but you're going to get a very bad exchange rate on those points. You're going to get six tenths of a cent per point. And sort of the uh, going rate, I guess you could say, across the credit card industry would be that when you have a reward point, you should be getting at least one penny per point, whether it's for cash back or any reward. And so in this case, your membership rewards points are only going to give you six tenths of one cent for every point. And then American Express offers a number of other redemptions. Some of them are going to get you close to that penny per point valuation. A lot of them are going to be less. For most people that choose the membership rewards program, at least if they knew what they were doing before they got into the program, what they're really looking for are the travel redemptions. Now you can take your points and book travel through AmexTravel.com, but even when you do that, oftentimes you are going to get at best a penny per point valuation on the points that you earn, sometimes you're going to get even less than that. So even booking through their portal is not a great way to get good value out of those points. So if none of these redemptions are all that great and there are people out there that are huge fans of the membership rewards program, where are they getting their value? The answer to that question is travel transfer partners. So American Express has a number of partners, airlines and hotels where you can take your points and transfer them or exchange them, you could think of it, into one of the loyalty programs of these airlines or hotel chains, including Delta, Hilton, Marriott, and then there are a lot of international airlines as well. So the goal really if you want to maximize your value in American Express's points is to transfer them to one of these partners. Now transferring to one of these partners alone does not suddenly increase the value of those points or miles. But people that like to play the points and miles game see this as the first step toward finding the home run redemptions in the travel arena. So that means they are looking for the places where they can use a smaller number of miles or points and get something really big in return, something that would have cost an awful lot of money if you were to pay for it with cash. So oftentimes what that means is finding a flight where you can use points, especially on international travel for a business class or first class seat where maybe you're spending $100,000 100,000 to 150,000 points to get 
maybe a first class or business class seat that cost $5,000 or even more if you were to pay for it with actual money. So these are sort of the home runs that people are looking for to get great value out of each individual point that they have transferred from American Express into one of these loyalty programs of a travel transfer partner. Now, finding those home run redemptions was easy. Everyone would be doing it. So you have to be someone that sort of enjoys the hunt. And then oftentimes you have to be someone that has some flexibility in your travel, both in the timing of your travel and possibly the destination of your travel. And then you still have to find the seats that are actually available as reward seats. And then you might have to go through one airline in order to get the seats on another airline because of the airline alliances. So you kind of have to have a lot going on there and sort of enjoy the hunt to go after these rewards. For some people that's really fun. For some people it feels like a lot of work for uncertain returns. So you have to think about who you are and whether you want to be going after those home runs or not. People will always uh, tell you online about sort of the you know the big fish story where they got some ridiculously great valuation out of their points but that doesn't necessarily mean that when you go out there you're going to find that valuation very easily. Now, obviously, those do exist or people wouldn't continue to go after them. It just depends on what you want. So that is the membership rewards program. Now, American Express also has certain cards that are cash back only cards and they are not interchangeable with the membership rewards cards. You cannot take the cash back and turn it into membership rewards points. So if you get these cards, you're only going to get cash back. All of what we just talked about is not going to be open to you with these cards. And if you end up with one card that is giving you membership rewards points and one card that is giving you cash back, those two are not going to work together in terms of combining your rewards. So the good thing about cash back cards is they're pretty easy to understand. You make a purchase and then you get a certain amount rebated back to you. The cash back cards from American Express are the blue cash every day, the blue cash preferred, the American Express cash magnet, and then on the business side, you have the blue business cash card. So with all of these cards, you are going to earn at a minimum a 1% rebate or 1% cash back on your purchases, but in many cases, you're going to earn more than that. In many cases, anywhere from 3% to 6% on your purchases in different categories, depending on which card we are talking about. And then the accumulated cash back that you have earned or the accumulated rebates, if you wanna think about it that way, are given to you in what they call reward dollars. And the only way to redeem these reward dollars is as a statement credit, which means they go against the balance that you have on one of your uh, cash back cards and it essentially lowers the balance so you don't have to pay as much when the bill comes due. So you never get that cash back in your hand. It is only a statement credit to lower the amount that you owe on your American Express card. Now that's not nearly as exciting as hitting the home run and getting some ridiculous valuation on your points on a first class ticket on an international flight. But what you get from cashback cards is a guaranteed return and a whole heck of a lot more simplicity. You don't really have to think a whole lot about what you're going to do with those. All you really have to do is think about where you're going to get maybe more of a reward in terms of cashback in certain purchasing categories, whether it's groceries or gas or other categories like that. But once you have the rewards, there's only one way to use them. And even though that may be a little boring, it also is pretty easy. And then finally, the third category is co-brand cards where American Express is the issuer of the card, but what you are earning in terms of rewards is either miles or points within the uh, loyalty program of the partners. So for example, you've got the Delta Sky Miles cards, both personal and small business cards. You've got the Hilton credit cards. You've got the Marriott cards that American Express issues. And then you also have uh, Amazon on the small business side. There are two credit cards. And then there is the uh, Lowe's Rewards American Express card. So for example, when you have the Delta card, you're gonna be er earning Delta Sky Miles and they're going to go into your Delta Sky Miles account. They are not going to be American Express points in any way and you cannot transfer them into American Express's programs. Now with the Membership Rewards program, you could transfer into Delta, but you can't take your points from Delta and put them in the Membership Rewards program. 
And so that's how American Express rewards work. If you want membership rewards points, you want to make sure to get a membership rewards card or more than one card that is going to give you membership rewards and not mix them with one of the cashback cards or maybe not even with one of the co-brand cards. If cashback is what you want, then go for one of the cashback cards because if you have a membership rewards card, like I said, and you try to redeem it for cashback, you're going to going to get a very lousy redemption rate. And then on the other uh, sort of arm there, you've got the co-brand cards that are sort of their own animal. Although with the membership rewards program, you sort of could have one of the co-brand cards and uh, convert your points from membership rewards into the loyalty program of one of those uh, travel transfer partners. So you could use those in tandem if you really want to concentrate on a particular airline or hotel program. So hopefully all of that makes sense. If you have other questions, please put them in the comments section below and I will do my best to try to answer them. Otherwise, I thank you for watching and as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews, we talk personal finance, we talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you don't have a comment or you're not going to go to the website, the next video you're going to want to watch is right there.